welcome back to the Hawk TV YouTube channel. Today we are going to be doing the preview for Geelong versus Hawthorne AFLW Women's at GMHBA. Um, I wasn't sure if I was going to do this, but I thought why not? Because I uh, yeah, I just thought that I would do it. Um, fifth place, twelfth place in the ladder versus the fifth. Um, and I thought Geelong were just a little bit better than what they've shown this year so far. Um, but um, they have some pretty good players, I think. Georgie Pasparkas is injured, so that really helps us. Um, they are good at GMHBA, but we're favourites by 20 cents. So we've started um, the, this season really well. Um, we've, we um, we're three and one, sitting fifth on the ladder. Um, and I think that we have some really good players and if all them fire, um, then we're a really good chance of winning. Greta Brody averages two goals now, kicked six last week, which is crazy. Um, and then obviously our midfield consists of Emily Bates, Eliza West, Jasmine Fleming, Matea Breed, all absolute guns. Um, and Casey Sheriff, so we've got some really good depth, obviously. Sheriff is injured at the moment, but we've got some really good depth in the midfield and then forward and back line too. We have some good depth um, throughout the field, really. Um, and yeah, I'm excited to see how how we go against Geelong, who are slightly better team, I think, than what we've been playing. We absolutely carved St Kilda up last week and I don't think many people expected us to win that I would say um, but we did and we won pretty convincingly and we're showing signs of our ball movement from half back half forward we're really linking up and we're winning a lot of um a lot of stoppages around the ground um Obviously, our list is very young. Um, it's very young players, but we're, we're beating a lot of teams in disposals and kicks and handballs. So we're really we win we're winning the contest a fair bit, um, and we like getting our hands on the ball first. We've got a brilliant ruckman, Lucy Wales, who um, gives really good service to the mids. Um, and our defence holds up really strong, consistent entries. Obviously against Adelaide, was we probably didn't hold up as well as we wanted to. They probably got the better of us. But then we ended up coming back early and kicking two goals in the last quarter when we'd only kicked two goals and up until three-quarter time. Um, so it wasn't all doom and gloom. We only lost that by 26 in the end. It was... Looking pretty bad, but um, obviously coming off a really good win against the Saints away, and then um, the the Cats coming off a good win as well. It's set to be a good game. Very tight odds. Both good teams going at it. Um, would say probably Hawks have the upper hand, just slightly, but being at GMHBA makes it um really very interesting. Um, so, yeah, it's going to be exciting to see who who wins. It's going to be, obviously, whoever can get their hands on the ball first is most likely to win. And ball line is going to be very key for both teams because both teams have a really strong back line. Um, obviously, Geelong with probably a... Um, Probably a pretty shock loss to Carlton um, coming in as favourites for that. And obviously we 
they Carlton quite convincingly in the first round by 38 points. And then well, Geelong were pretty good at, um, early in the season. They just lost to Melbourne by a few. And then they drew to Geelong. North Melbourne, so they couldn't quite get the win they were looking for, and then Don just come out and dominated, um, Carlton just come out and dominated them, um, and then they finally won against the Sun, so it's had to be, um, a really good matchup, this one, um, and if we can keep getting our hands on the ball and being really good, winning the contested ball, like, um, we are at the moment, then we'll have a really good chance of winning, I reckon. Um, and yeah, if we get in first year cycling on the are and the likes of Emily Bates, who's really um, classy in and under, and then Eliza West, Matea Breed, with a lot of strength, um, can really get going. And then Jasmine Fleming, with the, the pace. Um, I think our midfield's really really good, um, really stacks up, and obviously the outside uses of Caitlin Ashmore and the forwards, Aileen Gilroy and Ayn McDonough, both Irish, if they, both Irish players, if they can really get going and kick a few, and then Killy Lucas rolled off half back, it, we really have a pretty good list, and we've really gone to work with it on the off-season recruiting a lot of good players, Gilroy, West, Sheriff, a lot of a lot of really um, experienced players. Um, and I think we're very close to being top four. We are, and if we win, I think we'll definitely have the upper hand. We're really set up our season early. I mean, if we can win this game, we get a couple at home, play the Suns, who are still yet to win a game. That's drawn a game. And then, obviously, the Eagles, who, um, obviously, Daisy Pearce, a new coach, and then Giants. So, I've got a couple of home games in a row, um, all very winnable. So, if we win this one, um, a close, evenly odd one, that could go either way, and, um... Uh, very likely to finish top four and hopefully make finals for the first time um, in AFLW history. So that will be good to see if we can get there. Um, and that is, will be it for this preview. A um, bit of a shorter one. Um, obviously the AFLW takes a lot to analyse. Um, and yeah, until, ne until next episode, that'll be it. Um, but until next time, stay safe and go hawk.